Hey everyone, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are here to uh, talk along with Gabriel Knightson's Of the Fathers, part one of two, well, probably part one of many for our sake, played by Perizing for us. Thanks, Perizing. Thanks, guys. They played it so we don't have to. Now, this is the old version, so some of this is going to look not as cool if you maybe only know this from the 2014 version. I think it would have been funny not to tell them that and to let them just try to figure it out. <laughs> so apparently the sin of this guy's father was owning St. George's shop because he seems really despondent over the shop. He's also gigantic. <laughs> he is a His, giant yeah, among it, men. Right, how do you... How, what kind of pub is this? Is it a pub for ants? Oh, he's really sad. Somebody probably littered. Why are they burning a leopard woman? <laughs> I think that's actually how you perform the test for someone who can transmogrify like that, is you have to burn them, just like with witches. Oh, and so if she turns into a lion, she can transmogrify, and if she just turns into a withered skeleton, she can't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that was... This is unnerving. <laughs> this is like the last three seconds of every Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> <laughs> the devil was man all along. Oh, Jane Jensen, you know, we're in for some goodness here. She did the Phantas right. Phantasmagoria games. <laughs> I I gotta say, I think this um, red on red text was maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Yeah, so this sum up a Tom... Uh, Tom saliva. Valsalva maneuver. John they named Schrodes. that thing. Where <laughs> Schrodes. Oh, wow, the I can't uh, even guy from In Excess. Michael Hutt. Uh, Robert Holmes is Sherlock and Mycroft's less known, slightly mentally disabled cousin. Uh, he's actually their child. The, 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 this is about <laughs> the sins of his fathers. <laughs> his father, uncles. <laughs> no, his, his father. It's this very progressive, like, long after uh, uh, marriage equality was passed. All right, text and dialogue, some by Bridget McKenna, so keep an eye out for her sparkling additions to the Jane Jensen script. This isn't the same Jane Jensen that's a musician, is it? No, no. Very different oh. Jane Jensen. This music is so dramatic. When did they stop doing this? Opening credits at the beginning of a video game. Don't they still do it? Not like that they make you watch. They'll like do a few floating text layovers during the tutorial level. Tim Curry! Woo! Look at all these Mark big Hamill. names. <laughs> oh, Jesus. At what point... They were really lucky to catch them all at the shame spiral point of their career. <laughs> Michael Dorn. That's right. Uh, <laughs> from Zimbalist Jr. from Babylon 5. One of 5. these names is not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> As Kazanu? Kazanu. Oh, hey, Chris Litton is, uh... Oh, he's from the Tex Murphy games. He's the main guy in those, I think. So that's exciting. Yeah, I... Well, you know, I... I I think video games, it's its weird because they used to like do this like big presentation, but now they've become more like movies, right? Right. Um, and this was trying to be like a movie. I guess this is more like a movie from like the late 80s, early 90s. They used to have more of a kind of opening credit spiel. Yeah, instead of doing it over the das top of one. the first scene. <laughs> das Ein! <laughs> I dreamt of blood upon the shore of eyes that spoke of sin. The lake was smooth and deep and black, as were her scented skin. Do -do -do -do. That didn't quite work well. The way I thought it would. It starts out with you having to play paper boy. Mm -hmm. I bet. Just in Today a... on Black's Books. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? She's a little young for me. What is he like miming something to her? Sorry, but Gabriel is allowed. Oh, is it? I mean, he's out. Yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. 
You know, you could do that. Semaphore doesn't work very well in 8-bit. It you, not much works well in 8-bit. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Is she playing patty cake or? Oh. You're lively. Did you have another nightmare last night? I had a whole opening credits scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up karma. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. I think oh, they mean passive aggressiveness you're there. Right. <laughs> anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Who is this really? voicing the main hey. character? Tim Curry. What? Doing yep. a fake ass Louisiana accent. Like That's right. right. I can't wait to violate them. For example, if you would just let me. Dot, dot, and dot. <laughs> some local I hate when people <laughs> use ellipses and it should be a hyphen and. And the other line doesn't cut in. Right, yeah. You. Give me a break. The devil himself can change. Possible you. foreshadowing. Well, the devil had great legs, perhaps, like yours. This is and definitely workplace sexual harassment. Yeah. So, I'm assuming, like, I want to assume that they actually filmed the real live actors. They just had a really I horrible camera. <laughs> Dated June 18, 1992. <laughs> the front page has an article about the voodoo murders. For a second, oh, I thought that was you say, doing a stupid <laughs> voice. <laughs> all identified this is Mama Narrator. The, the general public of New Orleans is in no danger. Oh, well, they did at least pronounce <laughs> New Orleans correctly. <laughs> Found at the, the Screen Actors are Guild, guild however. <laughs> and that the murders are not associated with any genuine practitioners. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. It's weird because she's kind of talking <laughs> to us. I know. <laughs> Proceed with caution and do not who, get involved who are we in, in this game? <laughs> Like we're not right. Gabriel, we're we're God, really. I guess so, because we actually Saint control George God. Are we the devil? Because we're Maybe. actually in control of Gabriel. Also, whose coat is that up there? One might be hers, but we just saw Gabriel walk in. Recent fiction by the baby. Is words, that not that thing next him. to the desk? Obviously, there's an old-timey cash register there, the but then on the, the floor underneath it, is that a dragon statue? I, or With a pegasus, maybe? Legs? It's a pegasus Gabriel's that emerges heart. from the side of the desk? What a wacky, Guess so. Beat kind of guy that it was. So it said, there's fiction by the biggies, not so obviously not Gabriel. Is he a fiction writer? Like, is that... I don't understand don't that joke. I do. Do what? Oh, nothing. Just talking to God. <laughs> oh, it's a gargoyle. Apparently. <laughs> it's like a horse gargoyle. Those are yeah. common, right? Also, I like the like Lovecraftian oh, snake nice. through the skull on Your the... use of mathematics, for one thing. <laughs> These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. But if you wanted to bind me. <laughs> whoa, that was, did you, that, whoa. What did she actually <laughs> say? The, the strap marks on your bedpost say otherwise. You have oh, they made the same joke I did. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Awesome. Okie dokie. Their phone messages, There's Gabriel, I can't toss them. <laughs> Do you have more messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She threatened to narrate she your entire life, life if you don't call her back. <laughs> Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Just the venial. About you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. But she said to her mind you to stop what? and go through your father's things. I... Mm. Okay. Must be a Nolan's thing. <laughs> to describe your grandma yeah, as your girl? Right. Here's a strange one. You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter? He said he was calling from Germany. 
He told me it was urgent. Maybe she that's called. Maybe, maybe I should have mentioned that one first. Really yeah, Gordon, it's like, kind of buried, buried the lead no, on this sorry. one. Yeah, you larried the bead on this one. <laughs> okay, apparently Gabriel is an author. You more messages for me? How many fucking You're times do you have to click <laughs> more messages <laughs> before you get to the one that's a plot point? I hate these kinds of games. <laughs> Oh, that's H-U-M-P-H-R-E-Y. Oh, it's pronounced Hump Cray. Any more messages for me? Your parents are dead. Gabriel, those photos wouldn't have anything to do with the voodoo murders, would they? Now, why would you say something like that? Because I know you. You're getting privileged information, aren't you? Did you tell him you'd put him in a new voodoo book? Yeah, that's uh, kind of a rule that they ignored for this game, huh? <laughs> right? Maybe they read it aloud to us in order to avoid that obligation. Penis. I was, I was gonna say penis. But I got something in my throat, so I stopped, uh, stopped talking there. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get something stuck in your throat like a penis? I didn't know much of anything about it <laughs> until you started researching it for your book. Why are some of the things now that you can ask about exactly white and some slightly reddish? It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. It's you not entirely clear. It. It's amazing how she manages to talk holding Just her head perfectly still at what looks like a pretty uncomfortable ankle. What can you tell me about Norway? I've only been here two months, but I love it. Maybe she's it's like so right in the middle of lifting the gargoyle. Like <laughs> Ask about more messages. Come on, Tell damn it! More messages. Yeah, you're right, Knight. I mean it. What do you want to know? Well, I've never talked to you before what today, even though you appear to be wearing. my. You <laughs> know, you appear to be my employee. <laughs> But I, get it, I'll let you know. I think I'm a writer. Why do I have a <laughs> shop? <laughs> that... at St. George's books. Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the map in your record books could confuse Einstein. Why is she looking through them if he writes them? Like if he does the accounting, why is she looking through them? If you ever why doesn't she just do them? Uh, do apparently, she's brand new. Well, she just started working there. In which case. Like, she's very, you know, you can go uh, familiar with him, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you if you just barely got a job, you don't really, like, harangue your boss about his housekeeping and his... Yet, yet she, he, she did just say, you should know this, Gabriel, as if they have known each other uh, quite a while, so... Just tell me anything at all. Really, just fill some space here, because, uh... Because we got, we got zero go plot, right? Away from my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Uh, Leia Ramini, or however you say her name, not really big on enunciating those exclamation office, points. So <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't Plus, really believe in them. <laughs> she just saw the script and was like, look, I'm not putting any, like, enunciation in here. I've always <laughs> wanted to do something really adventurous, you know? Something... Something... REAL LIFE! <laughs> <laughs> I think I may have put my mic on that one. My folks are traditional Japanese. I don't even remember. Japanese. Wait, is she supposed to be Japanese? Yeah, Grace Nakamura, I believe, is her name. Look, Grace, do I have any more messages? All right, that's really what I'm leading up to here. Very spiritual discipline. I'm sure discipline of any sort isn't something that would appeal to you, Gabriel. Just tell me in the middle. <laughs> My folks want me to get married. How, she seems to be becoming more comfortable every time he asks that, yet if your boss kept whispering that to you in that creepy right voice, wouldn't you be getting more? <laughs> Just tell me anything at all. Never mind. Shit yourself. Shit yourself. <laughs> Do I have any more messages? Any Grace? more messages, Grace? Grace! For the love of Christ. Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. Did y'all get that? Mama narrator don't have much to do in those scenes. 
or in the case of Saint George's book, the mystic. Ah, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Some eyeballs in there. Left over from yet another dismal failure of a well, if somebody cashed it in, it wasn't the that dismal. Of a, I mean, somebody the used it, right? Twenty dollars in small bills and kibble. And kibble. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. So you've got to give the gift certificate to like a gnome in order to get a stick from him, so that you can like <laughs> pester a king and then get a you know a, a, a ruby amulet or some bullshit. Yeah, it's one of those kinds of games. Gabriel's bedroom is also his office, studio, and library. I'm angry McMaskey up here. I hate this room. I hate it so hard. But I love these Mardi Gras beads. Bills from last Christmas gathered. Does Gabriel really strike you as the type of guy who would have a happy Mardi Gras poster on his brick wall? Yeah, they needed Gabriel, to put the mask the and the beads and, and the poster to make sure we understood Boy, that yeah. we are in New Orleans. <laughs> Jeans and t shirts. Shove it, Granny Narrator. All I hate you. Look the same, so why change them? Because you stink. <laughs> It's Hell, why not put the gun in my mouth right really now? Got to get around to cleaning up in there. The medicine cabinet contains a few old prescriptions, personal hygiene stuff, and lots of hair products, including some hair jam. It sounds like the actress doing the narration was like on her deathbed when they forced her to read this. <laughs> It's a bit hot. I also like that they like try to paint him negatively by saying he has hair gel. No, thanks. Yeah. I don't have time to relax. Relax. <laughs> a poster on the wall advertising. You went a little joker Mardi there. The biggest party of the year in New Orleans. In case you didn't the know. Really, the biggest party in, of the year in most of North America. And Thirty-eight pairs of mismatched socks. So 76 individual bed. socks. <laughs> I believe so, yes. <laughs> I bought a lot of socks over the years. Thrill as Gabriel makes his bed and lounges on it. <laughs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Maybe try lying in the bed <laughs> rather than sitting on like it. using it as a duvet. She gave it to Gabriel to cheer the place up. Okay. I'm glad we got that little bit of backstory. Gabriel's desk has been gathering dust since his last night. Well, look, the scream mask is sitting on that desk. Several dozen books, <laughs> including a few of Gabriel's novels, occupy the shelves above his desk. Okay, so he's, I mean, he's a published Gabriel author. That seems pretty good for 93, right? In his studio. <laughs> How is that subdued lighting? If he's sitting there typing, that's like glaring <laughs> interrogation <laughs> style light right in his face. Right at his face. <laughs> the desk phone is cheap, but functional. That 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 scream mask is a phone. The waste basket it's a, it's a phone. overflows with okay. crumpled pages of mediocre glory. Mediocre glory. Oh, dibs a on the band name. Dibs on the band name. As a table for the radio. <laughs> Gabriel's on the epitaph. isn't exactly high fidelity. Then again, neither is he. <laughs> he is not transmitted <laughs> via audio waves. Left by some female or other. <laughs> some female or other. They're all the same whore with different faces, man. <laughs> oh, he's going to sit down and write an entire novel while we watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> Writer's block. You should have laid on the typewriter and then been like, I can't type. <laughs> well, time to sexually harass my co workers some more. There's a pair of tweezers on the counter. Grace uses them for book repair work. Man, I'm glad and they made those stand, cubic stand, stand out so much. A handy <laughs> item for reading old manuscripts or the fine print on Gabriel's leaf. He poor, do you get it? <laughs> I'm gonna take the tweezers. 
good. You're beginning to look a little scruffy. Just trying to make you feel at home. She didn't actually even read the script that line time. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. No problem. Because we do things like that, right? Uh huh. I think that may be the first time I've ever heard somebody say no, the words no and guys. Sherlock without the word shit in between them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that you're actually quite attractive? Be still, my heart. I'm the not usually into Asian, Asian girls. That once belonged to Gabriel's Leah Ramini. So, I... Do they want us to kind of hate Gabriel? Like, is that the the reason Gabriel why it's like he's poor, well, disheveled, you know kind of a, a sexual predator, so and and he uses hair gel, and, <laughs> and a failure of a writer? Drei Drachen kriechen in meinen Schlaf. Die Ziele wollen sie leben dich zum Fass. Okay. Heutigen Edelgestellten Rasen genießen sie jedes Mal. That's nice. Kind of creepy, though. Who's the author? Hans Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling the guy was worn. That's sick. just German, you know. Just I mean, because it's like he that, speaks German. It's like that Tool song, you know, and crying. <laughs> the top shelf contains books on animals, including snakes and other reptiles. Wow, they have like a whole shelf devoted to snakes and other reptiles. Gabriel pulls down a book. On snakes. I meant to get the Euro Mastics book. <laughs> reptiles. Some snakes kill their prey with poison. Some by constriction. Okay, good. Good to this know. This is an extremely yeah. remedial <laughs> snake <laughs> book. The smells are passed back to a sense organ in the mouth. Constrictor snakes, however, sense their prey by vibration. Vibration. Did you know that medieval legends about <laughs> dragons and giant worms are actually based on snakes? You know, dragons, devils, sea monsters, well, they've always been associated with snakes. And penises. Get alive. You can tell she just got her master's degree. <laughs> Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. He's reading a children's book on snakes, and then he yells at her to get a life. Yeah. And apparently Gabriel reading a children's book on snakes aloud. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, he does that. Do you wonder what that stack of books has in it? Because, I mean, that's a really big stack of books. I love how every time he attacks that cash register, as if it's the Joker in Arkham City or something. I trust you can live without this old Wait, didn't he already take a gift certificate? Hey, is the game looping? <laughs> Under the window are reference books. Dictionaries, foreign language dictionaries, quotations. Can they the hear her? Gabriel, I don't think so. Didn't he respond to her at one point, though? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, but but she couldn't hear it. Oh, we're gonna look up everything that that. Means midday. Now. We're gonna we're gonna. Piece together an entire that. German poem. Spiel means game. Or play. Interesting. <laughs> Himmel means heaven. Uh -huh. Now go read the German again, I guess. Dry means three. Okay, so three <laughs> heavens in the afternoon. Possession there was a game that was possessed. possessed. That's handy <laughs> We're going to learn all of German this <laughs> way. <laughs> I wonder if Mosley would know he was being insulted if I called him Drachenbrea. Well, as long as I don't let him borrow my German-English dictionary, it's probably <laughs> fine. And flip through it at random, since it doesn't seem to be alphabetized. <laughs> Wait, I... okay. He has a thing for black leather. It's not black. Well, no, the one on the left is. It's gray. Or green. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. I see black. Huh? Don't hurry back on my account. He kind of looks like Johnny Bravo from that angle. <laughs> Whoa. All right, 25 minutes in and we've left the bookstore. 
Oh, holy hell, Ooh, we got some live action here. Oh, looks like we're going to visit Granny. She's his girl. I'm so glad you stopped by. <laughs> Enjoy the pictures of random policemen on my out. wall. <laughs> Not at all. Give us a kiss. Don't don't be don't be stodgy with the tongue now. Tell me how you do it. That's my gran, adorable as always. And she always puts out. Now see, he did just Gabriel talk to her as if he was talking to us, but she heard him. <laughs> I, Gabriel obviously has like some sort of mental disorder. He's like Deadpool, right? <laughs> or the Max. He's, he's aware that he's a video game character. Right. Gabriel's inherited some good looking genes. The sofa has a worn blue tint pattern. Are we gonna look at every fun. damn object in this room before talking to Gran? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sitting there awkwardly while he like <laughs> stares at the pictures and then stares at the knitting basket and then Gran, you mind if I borrow your knitting needle? No, Sherlock. <laughs> Plus, ever since she burned Gramps to death, it just doesn't seem worth it. Just fine, dear. Gran, are you? Oh my god, Gran, you're having a stroke. What the hell is wrong? <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> Don't be silly. You can call me anytime. They seem to have the same actual talking we disorder. Talk, We're like, he's playing Cat's course, Cradle. <laughs> How can I help? Oh, thank Whoa. God. My Whoa. hands are no, under control you now. Get prettier every time I see you. It's nice to know that he doesn't only sexually harass his employee. <laughs> I hope that when he gets to Detective Mosley, who's played by Mark Hamill, apparently, I hope that he also sexually harasses him. <laughs> Detective Mosley, you got a pretty mouth. Tell me about yourself. Me? Oh, surely you have something Gabriel, also, you grew up with me oh, because on, I'm right. part of your family. <laughs> What do you want to hear? Just tell me anything. <laughs> what do you do all day? You know how I love to knit and work in my garden. She works in the garden? She's gonna, she's gonna drop dead of a stroke. Body like mine can stiffen it up. You're not old. Plus, running that brothel keeps me busy full time. Let me talk about some ways I could stiffen you tell up. Tell me about your <laughs> granddaddy. You know I was born with that right. My daddy owned a lot of land outside of town. I always love when um, exposition begins with, well, as you know. Yeah. Graham, did you know Brisson means... Oh, hell, now I can't remember. A playground, was it? <laughs> Possessed. Possessed. Granny. Ich bin ein besessen Drachen. I speak German now. Why are we talking about Big Reverend Jim, Grandma? Do you have something you wanna <laughs> off your chest here? around with his fire and brimstone antics, and a piece of it, one of those small add-on dues for ma'am, went flying off. I swear, Harrison and I were the only ones that noticed. This is a riveting story. <laughs> Gabriel looks really pained too. He's like, oh god, is she telling the, the Reverend Jim story again? <laughs> oh, here we go. Just tell me anything at all, Grandma. Mm. I had your father when I was twenty-two. The doctors told me I couldn't have any more after him, so I'm afraid I spoiled him rotten. <laughs> Your father was a terror. Just he was a bad man. <laughs> I never loved any man but your grandfather. And I never will. In fact, I don't love you, Gabriel. Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. Oh, ask about, about our family. family history. Here Who we go. Who would you like to hear about? <laughs> 
granddad, your father. Didn't or your she mother? have like a reason for calling him over? Ask her about the murder. Maybe something. she's got a hot lead. Your granddad immigrated to she America. She did it, didn't she? I hope so. He worked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. Tell me something about Granddad. Your Granddad supported me and your father with bookkeeping. I tell you what, though, he hated every minute of it. Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. I guess that runs in the family. <laughs> With jobs. In fact, he was a prize fighter. I don't really know why he was doing the bookkeeping and why they hired him. It was really difficult for him while wearing those boxing gloves, especially. <laughs> Voodoo murders. Come on, Gabriel. Voodoo murders. We gotta. We have a goal in this game. Your father was eight years old at the time. Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in the business district. He <laughs> wasn't very smart. <laughs> I had a rash in the business district sorry, once, but the doctor gave me a cream, cleared it right up. <laughs> Tell me something about Granddad. Did you know that your Granddad was? Look at him. He's like he just, was. just he let it talk. It's better that way. <laughs> we I will hold perfectly still and practice my self-hypnosis. He's kind of got Morrissey me. eyes over there. <laughs> they both have that like purple rim light going on. It's like they left the house and went to a strip club to have this conversation. <laughs> Tell me about my father. Your father was my only child. Tell me about the sins he committed. <laughs> Philip suffered from terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. They were <laughs> What were their horrible nightmares? <laughs> Tell me about my father. When Philip met your mother, it was love at first sight. I hope later in the game you can come back and have this exact same conversation with Gran. <laughs> Just in order to authentically replicate the genuine grandparent experience. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Tell me about my father. Gran, tell me about... The police say your father swerved off the road after being frightened by something. Perhaps it but I don't believe him because he was driving a streetcar. Tell me about my father. Your granddad. Maybe a Brisenin squirrel jumped onto the windshield. <laughs> he pushed Philip to go to law school. Philip was driven to art. I, who the hell are we talking about? Do we really need to know Gabriel's entire family tree's history to get this game? Tell me about my father. He always hated it that it was Margaret's money that supported the three of you when his paper. I like that at least there's no pausing. Like it's just tell me about my father. He always like just immediately. There's no like loading, loading. He couldn't do it. But he just keeps saying the same thing over and over again. I mean, games that are conversational based are usually at least uh, go on or something like that. He just keeps saying, tell me about my father. Tell me about my Tell me about my father. I wonder if you can ask Detective Mosley to tell you. Tell me about my father. Are you my daddy? <laughs> I also think she liked the fire family. <laughs> so oh, apparently we earned a point for that one. Whoa. Why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery number one and visit the family tomb? It would be a sweet Is that how tombs are arranged in Nolans by <laughs> random other mom. cities? Your mother's family refused to give her money after the marriage. All she had left was a modest trust fund from a great I'm aunt. having to map this as if we're playing an old school D and D game. It's like, okay, <laughs> we have we have a twenty foot room with a dead dragon and three kobolds, or you know, it's, it's, that's how intricate this family tree map is. Let's roll for initiative. Every last one of them. They never wanted anything to do with us, of course. What a waste. Now keep in mind, this is. This is a horror. Tell this is psychological horror. So I, don't know what else I guess to visiting you your grandparents and talking about family history—it's <laughs> pretty scary. Oh, here we go. Voodoo, 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 voodoo. Of course, you always were interested in monster movies and all that other weird stuff. Plus, I'm super <laughs> racist. <so. laughs> 
deer is capitalized, so apparently that's an office he holds. So <laughs> in the world to worry about, I guess. Oh wow, compliment her is spelled with an E, so it's I guess it means like put on a blue frock as well. Yeah, I don't want to. Well, you would probably want to use like a yellow or orange so that you complement it instead of matching it. There you go, yeah. I guess maybe the purple. Maybe he already clicked that and we missed it. That's why they both have the purple light. It's got much more influence by the East Coast and that California stuff. Still, it hasn't changed as much as other places, I reckon. We've always been happy here. Do you notice oh. that? Oh, oh, go ahead. On the menu, Voodoo Murders ends with a capital S. Oh, I did not catch that. <laughs> I'm going to go up to the attic, Graham. Uh oh. Be careful of the dust. I'm right, just gonna a... rub one out. This conversation has got me all hot and bothered. No. Nope. No, there's a lot of shit to click on. Here. Not rendered any better up here. That must have been the year <laughs> Granddaddy caught Santa on the roof. Grandma's attic is a storehouse of forgotten treasures and useless junk. So we should leave now. It's a lady's hat from the night. It's gigantic. That must be the year Daddy caught syphilis in the red light district. <laughs> it's an old metal tub. In the business district. <laughs> I'm going to start Gabriel using the business district to refer to my genitals. <laughs> as long as he can remember. <laughs> oh, there's some action in the business district tonight, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, my business district has grown quite a bit over the past few years. <laughs> See? Works perfectly. There's a sketchbook on the chair that Gabriel vaguely remembers as his father. Pick it up. My business district has become more racially diverse over the years. <laughs> I'll bet Daddy's sketchbook has naked pictures of Mom. Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook. The way they must have haunted his mind. The Look, he's got like a devil and a tiger. Like, this is like sweeter so than most seven year old sketchbooks I know. He finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. Sins of the Father! Now use a tweezer on it. <laughs> The old velvet curtains hung in the parlor before Grand lightened up the place. Lightened the place up. <laughs> the old They're not even reading like the script. Uh-oh. Uh, oh. It look, is She's it gonna pick up the little... <laughs> No, it's... Oh, it's a clock. I thought it was one of those little aliens from An Toy Story. Probably of German dun, dun, dun. Is, is it Brissenden? <laughs> It doesn't seem to be running at the moment. Well, that's why I clicked on the key. A turn the key goddamn key. The Sweet. Mechanism. Yeah, we understand how that works. We want you to turn There's the key. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. You're it's not a really. Demon. A ring of six symbols surround the face of the clock. A star. Yet why is that a semicolon? <laughs> an angel. <laughs> a noose. An eclipse. We really could have edited out some of the silences in Grandma Narrator's <laughs> reading here. The yeah. The the clock is hand-painted. Boy, it would be really annoying playing this game, because I can read way faster than she reads to me. I assume that you can click through it, but the, but, what was it, Pizarro? I, I totally forgot the long player's name now. I assume that Pizarro uh, is, is just letting us experience the full magic of the game. Has Why he played this game before? I... Granddaddy, you old fox. The photo probably at least 50 years They're old. naked. It shows two young men standing with an older man outside the castle. A scary castle. The inscription on the back says Nambla Annual Meeting. It's an old letter on fancy paper. Oh God, you have to pick it up to read it? Now it's going to be in your... Oh, it's Mark Hamill. Look. Yeah. With two other men, 
that Gabriel has not identified. Aryan Nation meeting, 5th, 4th, <laughs> November, 1937. The letter is addressed to Heinz Ritter. Whoever that Have is. you not been paying attention, Nana Narrator? Because <laughs> Heinz Ritter wrote the that book. The letter is written in German. But Gabriel determines what he can about. For instance, if it's dry is in it, from he from knows it's three. Schloss Ritter. In Rittersburg, West Germany. The letter is addressed to Really, this game should have been called Gabriel Knight Learn German. <laughs> One of the reoccurring words strewn throughout the letter is the word Schattenjäger. Man, I got really messed up on shot in here. It's a sense of urgency in the handwriting. Woke up with a friend naked with Vietnam movies playing. That's a... Yeah, it, it happens to the best of us. Shot and Jaeger always does that to me. I'm beginning to not trust not a narrator. Like she, she <laughs> missed the Heinz Ritter thing, and she said it was all useless junk. But we got an old family photo, and Grandma, who are these people? That's it. Take a load so off. So she talks like she's an omniscient talk, narrator, right? but really she's a the limited view mother. narrator who's just really Nothing judgmental. I, I guess so. Oh, here we go again. I got so Shot fucked up on that back in '57. How <laughs> I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Well, Granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I don't think he answered me. Let me log in to Prodigy Online and use their dictionary. Because <laughs> it's 1993, right? Oh, look, he Heinz Ritter oh, has a capital Z. Heinz Ritter. Heinz Ritter. Oh, Gabriel. Where did you hear that Your name? grandfather used to mumble it in his sleep. In <laughs> I promised I'd never tell you or your father. But I suppose it doesn't matter now. He's your father. Tell me. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. And your daddy's name Why was John Ritter. I don't know. I tried to ask him about his family, his life before America, but he didn't want to talk about it. I acknowledge that you sneezed. Told me about his name change. I found that one day when I saw a So his granddad before. was possibly a more successful writer than he was just in German. <laughs> but I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. How like didn't granddad ever synchronicitous or whatever or is is family? is that that he that happens to have his grandfather's book in his shop? Right. And that he never wanted to see them again. He believed in some family curse thought that he could spare Philip and Philip's children from what he called old nightmares. Knocked a shot in you again. <laughs> wanted to spare you, though, it cost him plenty. He never did sleep well, and he would often get a faraway guilty look in his eyes. I think his grandma is just making shit up. <laughs> is she one of those old people that is like, now that I'm old, it would be kind of a waste for me not to do all the drugs. <laughs> Gabriel, do you know anyone who can get me heroin? Do you know anything else about Heinz Ritter? I told you all I know about your granddad's past. I have ways of making you talk, Fräulein Grandma. <laughs> well, Gran, I better get going. Gotta run my oh, hand through my unruly mop of 8-bit hair. There's definitely shit in this room that he did not click on. Flowers. That I think that's a grandfather Half clock over clock. there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think that's enough for now. <laughs> uh, stay tuned next time, as it looks like we're going to go see Detective Mosley, played by Mark Hamill. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley and Jay Wilford Neville.